Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. For the fruits of his creation, thanks be to God. For the gifts of every nation, thanks be to God. For the plowing, sowing, reaping, silent growth while men are sleeping, future needs and earth's safe keeping, thanks be to God. In the just reward of labor, God's will be done. In the help we give our neighbor, God's will be done. In our worldwide task of caring for the hungry and despairing, in the harvest that men are sharing, God's will is done. For the harvest of his spirit, thanks be to God. For the good all men inherit, thanks be to God. For the works that astound us, for the truths that still confound us, most of all that love has found us, thanks be to God. Let your holy people rejoice, O Lord, as they enter your dwelling place. O oh Lord, remember David and all the many hardships he endured, the oath he swore to the Lord, his vow to the strong one of Jacob. I will not enter the house where I live, nor go to bed where I rest. I will give no sleep to my eyes, to my eyelids I will give no slumber, till I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling place for the strong one of Jacob. At Erratha we heard of the ark. We found it in the plains of Yermon. Let us go to the place of his dwelling. Let us go to kneel at his footstool. Go up, Lord, to the place of your rest, you and the ark of your strength. Your priest shall be clothed with holiness. Your faithful shall ring out their joy. For the sake of David, your servant, do not reject your anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let your holy people rejoice, O Lord, as they enter your dwelling place. The Lord has chosen Zion as his sanctuary. The Lord swore an oath to David. He will not go back on his word. A son, the fruit of your body, I will I set upon your throne. If they keep my covenant in truth and my laws that I have taught them, their sons also shall rule on your throne from age to age. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. This is my resting place forever. Here have I chosen to live. I will greatly bless her produce. I will fill her poor with bread. I will clothe her priest with salvation and her faithful shall ring out their joy. There David's stock will flower. I will prepare a lamp for my anointed. I will cover his enemies with shame, but on him my crown shall shine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you chose to suffer and be overwhelmed by death in order to open the gates of death in triumph. Stay with us to help us on our pilgrimage. Free us from all evil by the power of your resurrection. In the company of your saints and constantly remembering your love for us, may we sing of your wonders in our Father's house. The Lord has chosen Zion as his sanctuary. The Father has given Christ all power, honor, and kingship. All people will obey him. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. 
you have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Father has given Christ all power, honor, and kingship. All people will obey him. A reading from 1 Peter chapter 5. To the elders among you, I, a fellow elder, a witness of Christ's sufferings, and share in the glory that is to be revealed, make this appeal. God's flock is in your midst. Give it a shepherd's care. Watch over it willingly as God would have you do, not under constraint and not for shameful profit either, but generously. Be examples to the flock, not lording it over those assigned to you, so that when the chief shepherd appears, you will win for yourselves the unfading crown of glory. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them, this is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. He spent himself in their service and ever prayed for them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. Let us live holy and upright lives as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us live holy and upright lives as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is worthy of all praise, for he was appointed high priest among men and their representative before God. We honor him, and in our weakness we pray, bring salvation to your people. You marvelously illuminated your church through distinguished leaders and holy men and women. Let Christians rejoice always in such splendor. You forgave the sins of your people when, they, when their holy leaders like Moses sought your compassion. Through their intercession, continue to purify and sanctify your holy people. In the midst of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and filled them with the Holy Spirit. Fill all the leaders of your people with the same spirit. You yourself are the only visible possession of our holy pastors. Let none of them, won by the price of your blood, remain far from you. The shepherds of your church keep your flock from being snatched out of your hand. Through them you, gave, you give your flock eternal life. Save those who have died, those of whom you gave up your life. We 
we pattern our prayer on the prayer of Christ our Lord and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you gave your saints, Timothy and Titus, the courage and wisdom of the apostles. May their prayers help us to live holy lives and lead us to heaven, our true home. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.